Recently, I shot a music video for I Am Bird. He's a hip hop artist not too far from where I'm from. Uh, go check him out at IamBird.com. The video is called Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. Watch it. If you have any other questions about what we did in that video, ask me, I'll answer them. One of the biggest questions I've gotten is how to do this orbital hyperlapse transition where I set them up against a wall, orbit around them, take them to another location, orbit around them there and it gives the effect that they teleported I don't know it's super easy I'm using Final Cut Pro so without any further mumbo jumbo let's get to it so I've got both of my clips loaded into Final Cut Pro 10 uh, one of the first things you're gonna want to do is turn on stabilization for each of these clips in the inspector panel now I've already done that to save on a little bit of time let's see what the clips look like now That looks good. Now, one of the things I will say is when shooting this, to turn on the grid display on your viewfinder, whether that be straight on camera or on your external monitor, and make sure to keep your subject centered as best you can when orbiting around them. It cuts out a lot of the little jitters that stabilization can't do for you. So we're gonna go to the first clip. I'm gonna hit Command R. You don't have to, but I like to look at it whenever I make my cuts. Now I'll come right here before it completely gets straight in front of them, and I'll hit Shift B. That'll make my first cut, and right about here for the second one. Go to the first part of the clip, change the speed to 20 times. Do the same for the last portion of the clip and we'll repeat this process on the second clip. Come right before it is about straight in front of them and we will hit Shift B, go a little bit after and do the same thing. Come to the first section of the clip, speed it up by 20 times and do the same for the last portion of the clip. And I will let it render out real quick and see what it looks like. And here's what it looks like. Okay, that doesn't look bad. Still got a few little jitters in there, but that's my own fault. It's not the stabilization's fault. All right, so the one thing we can do to clean this up a little bit more now is to throw motion blur on the sections where it actually speed ramps up. Now you can get these effects in a few places. One way to do it is in Apple Motion. Now if you don't know how to make your own motion blur title effects, go check out Ryan Nangle. He's got a great YouTube channel where he does Final Cut Pro tutorials and releases free stuff all the time for your editing pleasure. Um, so go check him out. Now I will grab this moderate motion blur 2 and I will put it right there where the speed ramp is. Command C to copy and I will paste it there. Click and drag it over to where the next section is and then paste it here and drag it to the end. So we're gonna let it render out and while it's doing that, I'm also going to flip it back to the original media. This will take a while, so I'll see you in a minute. And here is what it looks like. So if you guys have used this effect in any of your projects, tag me, let me know. I would love to see what you guys have done with it. Uh, if this video has helped you out in any way, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. It's more than appreciated. And if you have any questions about what I've done um, or future video idea suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to go check out IamBird.com for the full music video that we shot. There's some other really cool effects in there that I think you guys would love. If you don't know how to do them, I'd be more than happy to create a video showing you how I pulled off some of those effects. Um, but until next time, guys, see ya!